Welcome people, it's your boy Tajalix back with another video. It's your me I say. Today is the last day of 2020. 2020. Wow, 2020. It has been an historic year. It has been an eventful year. Yes, it. And <clears throat> on December 5, we do Vespers in a church. And it was like Vespers is like a mini sermon to end the Sabbath, like to close the Sabbath, to acknowledge the ending of the Sabbath. And remember, me say, yo, 2020 has been the worst year of my life, the best and worst year of my life, but I am still here today. You see me? I say, I'm going to say the same thing right now to myself and to my viewers. 2020 may have been the worst year of your life, but you're here right now listening to this video watching this video you're still here and for that you have to be grateful because you're still a breed once you have life once you have breath in your lungs god has a plan for you and god just have a plan said we it means you still deserve to live and god not done with you yet god still a work on you god still a work on me god still a work on you so you have me you, you you may have suffered a lot of losses this year there might have been a lot of um downs but you have survived you are still here today god has brought you through and you have to still be grateful you see what i mean say no 2020 is coming to a close what are we going to do first of all we have to Acknowledge the year. Whatever happened to you, acknowledge it, accept it. Forgive the per other forgive whoever hurt you, forgive whoever wrong you, and forgive yourself and move on. You know, forgive them because of them, you know. You know, forgive them because of yourself. Forget rid of the anger, forget rid of the pain, forget rid of the hurt. You see me I say just just you have forgive them for yourself so you can do better. You see what I mean? So that's the first thing now. Acknowledge 2020. Crazy year. You see what I mean? Now it's time to take some steps in moving on. You see what I mean? And before me even going to moving on to 2021, first of all, me recap my 2020. Zin, you can recap, recap your 2020 in the comments below and make me know how year 2020 go you see but my 2020 i never the typical worst 2020 like me don't know me not go company and be extra because everybody has said 2020 was a bad year and i were the worst year and no it never so it is normal for me like we start off in a january everything did all right in a january February everything did alright March Things get better in a March Cause I did apply for my first internship and get through So Things did amazing in a March is it? Um, also I get my first No April Yeah So March I will go down in a April April no Things were Things were even getting no, things did mix, things did worse, things did bad and things did good. Emotionally, me never really alright. But emotionally, me did good. Because at that point, I created my first website professionally. You see what I say? So, March, April, more like on the good side, but also on the bad side. Because me did slightly depressed. You see, January, February, March, April, me, we touching on me now. No, stop it. We touching on me, me, me turn over. Me, me, brother, me was the worst month of the year. Me was the worst month of 2024. Me. Like, it did a build up from me, April, you know. But me, Everything start overflowing. The worst month of the year that for me, dog. 
Um, no year, no year, no hurt me like 2020. And it not to do with Corona or nothing. Just my personal experiences of my experience in the year of 2020. No year not hurt me like 2020. The emotional wounds that I have suffered in 2020 are like no other. You see what I say? I probably still have like experience pain right now. <clears throat> Occasionally, you see, it's kind of getting better. Thank God I've been praying. You see what I say? But, do you know, brother? I don't know about you. Alright, January, February, March, April, May, June. I don't know what to say about June. June did rough too. June did rough. June did rough. July did rougher. <laughs> but at the same time, it was better than me. But it, it's still rough. July, July, January, March, April, May, June, July. August, August, August did a come on. September did a come on. But it, it's still rough. October did a come on, but it did still rough. November now. I did have the experience, the same pain I'm experiencing in May 2020, again in November 2020. I must say October. One out of them. But this year has this year, even if we sum it up with one word, I sum it up with emotional scars. I've suffered some painful emotional scars this year, dog. Like no other brother. That's all me and this me and left it. 2020. The pain of my experience this year, dog. No wish it for no man. I no wish it for no man, dog. Is it me I say that? But at the same time, me get a lot of opportunities for 2020. Lot of opportunities. I must have got you four internships for the year. Four. Me in a one right now. So, 2020, brother, good and bad. That's why I say the best and the worst. Because things that happened to me this year, the opportunities that I got this year, the money I made this year, I want to make it no other year. So, 2020 was a perfect year for me to make that. The introduction of a pandemic and the problems it created and the solutions that I provided for those said problems. You see what I mean? I said, dog. So, 2020 best and worst year, dog. You see it. But the thing is, the pain I'm experiencing this year, like no other. But the opportunities that I've experienced this year are like no other. So, our feelings of ambivalence, it's really contradicting for me. But I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Well, I'm not grateful for the pain. Probably one day I'm not grateful for the pain. I don't read the Bible. No, I don't read a commentary. I read a commentary upon a Bible verse. And the person who wrote the commentary, 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 commentary did I say, yo, um, one day you're going to thank God for the pain. I don't remember why he said, but he said something like that. I don't know, but I did a stage right now. I am glad I experienced a pain day. I never experienced that to be in it. See? But we are trying to heal from it. We are trying to move past it. And we are going to 2021 now. Now, where we are going to 2021, God, you know? Here, what? first of all, do start 2021 expecting say now nah, gonna be nothing like 2020. Whatever happened now in a 2020, I go see through right into 2021. Example, the coronavirus. That I go see through right in a 2021. We don't know when that I go end completely and come out of the world completely. And it don't look like it got you know, cause guess what? Most of us we are view this right now, we are listening to this right now. The solution that was provided for coronavirus to go away and for um, people to not be affected by it anymore. The solution that was provided, many of you guys do not want that solution. 
Many of you guys do not want to be a part of that solution and that's the coronavirus vaccine. A, a solution was created to the problem. A vaccine. Zin, but not for one in a trust it, not for one in a war ticket. Therefore, coronavirus I got there. Probably till the middle of the year or even the whole year, it's still a good day. You see what I say? So don't expect that anything will get better. Don't expect that curfew will go live. Don't disappoint yourself. In order to not disappoint yourself, in order to not crash and burn, they are, you have to manage your expectations. People say expect nothing and you will not get hurt. But come on, yeah, you man. Stop lying to yourself. When you make social media turn in a idiot with some of the quotes, them, you know. As a human, you gotta have expectations. It's what we do, we expect. Just manage them expectations there and just monitor how you measure them and how you manage them. You see what I say? So you can expect certain things like your life to get better. But you have to do something for your life to get better, you know. Like, Corona can keep it, can go on all it want, you know. That no means say you have to keep with it, you know. Corona might continue to destroy the world in 2020. That no means say your life have to get destroyed with it, too, you know. Because remember, you know, coronavirus coming at 2020. It, it make all heap of people lose them job. While people like me are gain jobs. So how that? Depends on how you want to look on your life, you know, and how you want to take the pandemic, you know. Say so in a 2020, you might depend on the wrong side of the pandemic. In 2021, God keep you alive, you can depend on the right side of the pandemic in a 2020. By changing your perspective. You see what I mean? Say, by you, by you, by, by, get, life here, yeah, what them say? Life gear lemonade, I have life, life gear lemons. Then you make lemonade. You see what I mean? Say, whatever you have, if him gear tambourine, make tambourine juice. Him gear mango, make mango juice. Him gear guinea, make guinea juice. Whatever God gear, whatever 2020 show at you this year, use it and make the best of it. I, I only way your life I will get better. You can't sit down for your life get better. No for how to do it. The new year has started and you say, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Oh, I'm going to live my life better. And, but you don't do nothing. You don't do nothing for your life get better. You can't just sit down and hope for your life will get better. Nothing is dropping in your lap, so brother. You have to go get up and get out and do something for you get better. The choices that you make every single day. If you 2020 you decide say so you want to read more, you reaching that goal is a result of the choices you make every day. You wake up every day, what are the choices you make? You tell yourself say so you want to read more in a 2021, you wake up, what are you going to do? Are you going to get up and sit down by your phone? And just a scroll like you know, in a sense, a scroll out your finger, so and a text who you have a text, or you go find a book on your phone or a hard copy book and start reading. Which one you go do? Because no for one of that you do, you know, when you say you want to read more in a 2021. By the way, when I say read more, I mean it as a general thing, like any goal. So we are use reading more as an example. When you say you want to read more in 2021, what you do? When you wake up every single day of 2021, and guess what you do? Guess what you do? You don't do nothing. We are going to, read, we are going to make you reach the goal of reading more. You don't read nothing. You don't even read one sentence in one book. You can't set the goal and you do nothing. If you carry out the goal, brother. A goal without action, a goal without a plan, a just dream. A just wishful thinking that you just a chat. When you set your goal, you have to set a plan, you have to set an action, you have to do something to bring the goal into fruition, the idea to bring it into fruition. I don't want to no, no, get up, but I don't want to no life get better, I don't want to do nothing for my life get better. 
don't do it better then you no complain this and that this and that this and that this and that no better me a talk to you now Where, what do you want for 2021 what are some changes that you want to make me have my changes them me have a chair work on them you have your changes them work on them my friend do something we are going to help you now it no matter if it's small or big you say you want to read more you might not read half a chapter but guess so at least you read a sentence tomorrow you do something bigger than that and you take it in steps and you take it in steps I know sometimes when your dreams might seem so big so unattainable so elusive but one thing you can do to actually reach the dreams that you think are too big is to start small is to break it down into smaller pieces and attack those smaller pieces till you realize say, the bigger puzzle finish you see pre so one of one of the decides on yourself determining on yourself make up on your mindset 2021 i go be a better year for me and you know why it will be a better year for you not because of anybody else but because of the decisions that you that you are going to make you have choices every single day is a test you get every single day you wake up every, you see every day you got open your eye you get choices and the test that don't feel it don't feel it starting today starting right now do what you want to do do what you want to do you're one decision away from having a better life you're one decision away from having change you're one decision away you met it you're one decision away you have your business launch your business brother launch your business my girl what are you waiting for the world for end where are we in for go for it you're not going to regret it and if, if you go for it and fail you learn and you go for it and you win you win either way you still leave the situation smarter stronger and better and look upon it no, you no fear doubt yourself say you are going to conquer 2021 you know you no fear doubt yourself at all because if you take up your nice clean self and conquer 2020 I will not feel really gain a 2021 where you can conquer you know see how God demonstrate your strength Gotta demonstrate your inner strength. You don't realize that God has shown you how powerful Him is and how strong you are. Look back on 2020. Look back on everything where you survive. Who can hold in 2021? Please tell me. I got a loan can't stop you, my friend. Nobody can stop you. You're strong. You're resilient. The strength that you displayed in 2020 is unmatched. It's like no other. You're going to bring all of the lion strength they know in a 2021 and you're going to conquer it. You see, pre, we are going to conquer 2021. We are going to do everything we can do so our goals can come to fruition. If no obstacles come in our way, we are going to jump over them. And if we can't jump over them, we are going to go underneath them. And if we can't go underneath them, we are going to go around them. And if we can't go around them on the right side, we are going to round them on the left side. And if we can't go around them on the left side, we are going to jump over them. Mr. Jump over them already. Because any where you take it, we are going to go through them obstacles there. And even we have to walk through the obstacles and mash it down, we are going to walk through it. Since we can't go jump and dive over it or run it, we are going to walk right through it and mash it up. This man clip. You see what I say? One thing I'm wanting to do, even if you are a Christian, I want to pray more for 2020. You see, pray. 
more you pray more if you can't read the bible at least speak to god communicate with him you have to treat god like your friend you know may we all sit down and and just start reason with god just start talk like i'm a bridge nothing i'm a, a best friend nothing you know. who me that for years now you know I saw God why you treat him like a friend. Speak to him. Speak to him, man. You can't make the man we create and the man we control your life be a stranger. Speak to him. Be acquainted with God. Get to know him. Your life will be so much better. So much more fulfilling. Do it. Now, since we are talking about prayer, we are going to end off the video with a prayer. Zim, let us pray. Dear kind and compassionate Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you for providing food on the table. We thank you for bringing us through 2020. Thank you for not allowing 2020 to swallow us. We are here today. We are standing strong. Thank you for sparing our life. There was a virus <clears throat> on the, in the world and it killed a lot of people but it did not kill us. We are thankful that you spared our lives God and that you will continue to spare our lives. Forgive us for our many sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We pray God that you will forgive us for moments that we were ungrateful, for moments that we were complaining throughout the year. Forgive us. And we thank you for blessing us even when we didn't deserve it. We thank you for carrying us through most of all, God. I do not know, we do not know how to, to, to show our gratitude for keeping us throughout this crazy year god today is the last day of 2020 and as we are about to go into 2021 we ask for your blessings once more we ask for your guidance once more we ask for your protection right now many of us have goals god that we we want <clears throat> to achieve we want to pursue i pray that we will pursue them we will attain them and i pray that if there is any plan of the enemy that is planning to take hold of us i rebuke it in the name of jesus i cramp and paralyze it i pray that the devil's plans will not come to, to come to fruition and we will achieve our goals god Help us to know that we are nothing without you. And we have to lean on you. We have to lean to your understanding. There are things I may not ask for right now, God. There are things that I may not know what the people that I am praying with want. But I pray for their happiness. I pray for their peace. I pray that you will make their lives better in every way emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, academically. There are people watching right now, God, that may have been praying for something and it seems like you're not hearing them. Pray, God, that you will come through for them and you will show them patience because nothing happens until it's appointed time. I pray, God, that you will continue to bless us, keep us, send your angels around us to encamp, God, and to protect us from all harm and danger. Help us to not be indolent. Help us to not be lazy. And we will work our asses off to achieve those goals in 2021. Let it be a good year to us. Let it be a year that we draw closer to you. Let it be a year that we flourish, we thrive. Let it be a year that we be more like you as you want us to. I pray for my channel, I pray for my subscribers. 
Allow my subscribers to allow the channel to grow. Allow them to take steps to make the channel grow by liking these videos, by sharing these videos. Bless my channel that it will continue to grow. The views will grow, the subscribers will grow. Bless everyone watching right now. Bless me. Heal me from all the emotional scars that I have suffered this year. Heal my subscribers from all the emotional scars that they have suffered this year. Help them be better people. Help us to be better people. Help us to be better humans. Better boyfriends. Better girlfriends. Better daughters. Better sons. Better uncles. Better aunts. Better cousins. Overall better persons. Help us to unlock the best versions of ourselves. Thank you for everything that you have done, Lord. Thank you for everything that you're doing now. Thank you for everything that you will continue to do. Just thank you. Through Jesus' name I pray. Hold on. To everyone watching this right now, God, many of us are university students. The semester has been crazy. Online school has been crazy. We have tried our best, God. Do the rest and allow us to pass those courses. Some of us don't even want A's, B's. We just want one little C God to carry us through. Give that person that C God, carry them through. It, it, it is so hard to find money again to do our courses, God. None of us want to disappoint ourselves, disappoint our parents. None of us want to give you any more money, God. I pray, I pray, God that you will allow us to pass those courses in the name of jesus and we will continue to pass courses until we have graduated we have our jobs and we're living our best lives thank you god thank you thank you thank you for everything i don't know how much or how to experience my gratitude the magnitude of my gratitude thank you god thank you to jesus name i pray amen that's the end of the video guys Thanks for watching! 2020 done! 2021 start! Let's go! I'm out. Goodbye.